For more than a decade, the NATO Air Policing Commission was the only visible NATO presence in the Baltic countries. Many NATO allies on a rotational basis have been dutifully patrolling the relatively calm Baltic airspace. But the security situation in this part of the world has significantly worsened. Our pow powerful neighbor, mildly said, has become unpredictable. As a result, we are witnessing the increased unfriendly activity in all domains around our borders, including our skies. NATO has reacted collectively, and we are glad seeing all the efforts devoted to increasing the security of the Eastern NATO border, including the reinforced air policing mission. Today, our allies aircrafts from Chevrolet and Amory are patrolling over the lands where allied troops of enhanced forward presence battle groups, together with our national land forces, are ready to counter aggression and our light naval vessels that sailed the Baltic Sea. We know that all of NATO stands alongside us in defense of our shared values and principles. The core principle, one for all and all for one, is valid as ever. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to participate in this turnover. It speaks volumes about how much you consider peace to be an important part of our lives and how much you care about our service men and women's contributions to peace and prosperity. We're on the 45th rotation of the air policing <coughs> events in this region, a staple of peace and security. 17 of our NATO nations have made the decision to contribute and here we are one more time to recognize this great turnover. I can't continue for one more second unless I take this opportunity to thank all of the wonderful maintainers, critical mission supporters, fighter pilots, and certainly the beautiful F-16 team from Poland for their tremendous contributions to peace and prosperity in the region for the last four months. What you've done from May to the present has afforded all of us the opportunity to allow all of our good citizens to enjoy this beautiful region in this great nation. On behalf of NATO and on behalf of NATO Aircom, I would like to extend my personal congratulations to what you've done and what you'll continue to do. Thank you very much. Marusz Chmielewski, forever.